नमस्कार डियर व्यूअर्स वॉम वेलकम यू इन दिस लाइव इंटरेक्टिव सेशन प्रेजेंट बाय सी आई टी एन सी आर टी माई नेम इज रोजन राजपूत एंड यू ऑल आर वॉचिंग अस ऑन ई विद्या चैनल नंबर टेन सो दिस इज लाइव इंटरेक्टिव सेशन फॉर क्लास टेन स्टूडेंट एंड वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न सब्जेक्ट साइंस एंड टॉपिक फॉर टूडे इज कार्बन एंड इट्स कंपाउंड सो इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेरी प्लीज लेट एस नो ऑन अवर लाइव टेलीकास्ट फोन नंबर एंड द नंबर इज एट एट जीरो जीरो फोर फोर जीरो फाइव फाइव नाइन बियॉन्ड दिस मीडियम यू कैन राइट अ मेल टू अस ऑन डी टी एच डॉट क्लास टेन एट सी आई ई टी डॉट एन आई सी डॉट आई एन हमारे विभिन्न माध्यम हैं जिनके जरिए आप हमें देख रहे हैं और वे विभिन्न माध्यम भी हैं जिनसे आप हमसे जुड़ भी सकते हैं कक्षा दस के बच्चों के लिए साइंस का हमारा विषय है कंपाउंड्स कार्बन एंड इट्स कंपाउंड्स तो इस विषय पर अधिक जानकारी देने के लिए हमारे साथ स्टूडियो में मौजूद हैं आप डॉक्टर राजेश कुमार शर्मा सर स्वागत है आपका थैंक यू वेरी मच मैम नमस्कार सर बताना चाहूँगी आपको कि सर पीएचडी होल्डर है और मोर देन 15 इयर्स का एक्सपीरियंस है सर को इस विषय से संबंधित आईआईटी गेट से पास आउट हैं और बताएंगे हमें कार्बन एंड इट्स कंपाउंड्स के बारे में सर जब भी हम विषय विज्ञान की बात करते हैं तो देखते हैं कि बच्चे अगर इस विषय में जितने प्रश्न अपने क्रिएट कर सकते हैं उतने उन्हें जवाब भी मिल जाते हैं और कार्बन एंड इट्स कंपाउंड्स को लेकर हमने अपनी पिछली क्लासेज में क्या जाना है इसको रिकेप्चुलेट करते हैं और फिर अपने विषय को आपसे आगे जानना भी चाहेंगे जी वी टॉक अबाउट कार्बन देन इट इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट एलिमेंट इन आवर लाइफ राइट वॉट एवर हैपनिंग इन आवर लाइफ ईच थिंग्स मोस्ट ऑफ द मेटीरियल वट एवर वी आर यूजिंग इन आर डेली लाइफ इन हाउस आउट ऑफ द हाउस इन ऑफिस और एनी एनीथिंग एल्स कार्बन इज सराउंडिंग द ऑल द थिंग्स लाइक क्लोथ्स वुड plastic there are so many materials these are just made up of carbon so what are the carbon compounds exactly and can we take three example for it yeah exactly carbon compounds are those compounds in which carbon is the carbon element consists the major thing compounds which include the carbon or we can say that the compounds which are made up of carbon it may be a single atom more than one atoms that compound are called carbon compounds and examples we can take like cloth plastic wood hmm. polymers there are different kind of polymers are available so these will be the example of carbon compounds yeah so let us start with ppt so what we are going to learn is next what would be the electron dot structure of carbon dioxide which has uh, the formula of co2 yeah electron dot structure of carbon dioxide to be represented as as we know that the carbon is contain atomic number 6 hmm. it having the four valence electron and oxygen atom which having atomic number 8 will having six valence electron carbon having atomic number 6 having four valence electrons the co2 molecule will be form which having the linear structure in which two electrons to be shared by carbon atom to one oxygen atom mm -hmm. so there will be a double bond between the carbon and oxygen there will be a two oxygen atom so one kind of linear structure will be there in which carbon atom is present in the central and one oxygen atom having mm -hmm. double bond and another oxygen also having the double bond so what we have in our ppt please let us know yeah so we will take uh, the basic thing from the like ppts we can say that uh, the carbon compounds the compounds which are made up of carbon are called carbon compounds food clothes hmm. medicines books or many of the things are based on this versatile element carbon in addition all living structures are carbon based the earth's crust has only 0.02% carbon in the form of minerals like carbonates hydrogen carbonates coal and petroleum and the atmosphere has 0.03% of carbon dioxide the molecule whatever we have uh, discussed the structure like this before two minutes if we consider or look at the examples of carbon compounds so these examples can be observed our surroundings 
from our surrounding like that uh, CO2 that is carbon dioxide, DNA molecule mm -hmm. which is the major genetic uh, component of all uh, like uh, living, living things especially humans, methane, benzene, ethanol, these all molecules contain carbon in single form or by the chain of carbon to carbon atom. So, these can be considered as example of carbon compounds. We can take further examples of carbon mm -hmm. compounds also like that. These compounds are also referred to as organic compounds because the carbon is major component in these compounds. Simple example we can take that paper, nail polish, candle, fabric, soap, gasoline these all are the materials which made up of carbon. Right. So, sir, please state the reasons why carbon can neither C for cations and C for minus ancients but forms convalent compounds. Please let us know. Carbon uh, is the kind of non-metal. Mm -hmm. In if we look about the elements or periodic table, then we will find that the position of carbon exactly in the center. One side is going to be metallic region and another side going to be non-metallic region. Carbon is having 6 atomic number and 4 valence electrons. Valence electrons, if carbon lose these 4 electrons, it will be difficult for the carbon atom to lose, lose these electrons mm -hmm. and make positive ion because that will require a lot of amount of energy. Generally, that energy is not possible. So, it is difficult for the carbon atom to make C4 cation. In similar way, we can say that it is not possible for the carbon to make C4 negative anions because carbon having atomic number 6 will contain 6 proton. If it will form C4 negative ions, then number of electrons will be 10. That will be very difficult for the nucleus to hold 10 electrons with the 6 proton. That is why carbon is not going to form C4 positive ion mm -hmm. or C4 negative ion. Now, it is clear to our viewers also. Please sir, uh, next we are what we are going to learn. Yeah. Carbon uh, having the one kind of special tendency that is it forms four bonds. So, bonding in carbon compounds plays the major role that is formed by the covalent bond formation. We can see that atomic uh, number of carbon is 6 its electronic configuration is 2, 4. In case of carbon, it has 4 electrons in its outermost shell and needs to gain or lose 4 electrons to attain the noble gas configuration. These points, point number 1 and point number 2 already we have discussed right now because yes. uh, ma'am you have asked me the question why mm -hmm. this is not going to form C4 negative ion and C4 positive ions. So, on behalf of that the energy mm -hmm. issues are there and uh, nuclear charges also issue is there that is why it is not going to be formed. But one question is being arised here. If carbon is not going to form C4 mm -hmm. negative ion, not going to form C4 positive ion, then how the carbon is going to form the compounds? The solution of this problem yes. is there. Carbon overcomes this problem like by sharing its mm -hmm. valence electron with other atoms okay. of carbon or with atoms of other element by forming a bond that is called chemical bond. Okay, then so why diamond does not conduct electricity sir? Diamond uh, actually having 4 electrons and in case of diamond mm -hmm. the 4 bonds totally being formed by the carbon. So, saturated kind of bond will form. In case of diamond there is no free electrons available to move in the carbon to carbon chain. Due to absence of free electrons, diamond is not going to conduct electricity mm -hmm. and there is a bond carbon-carbon bond in the diamond. So, that is a one kind of strong bond. It is very difficult to break this bond because carbon-carbon bond energy is very high. That is the only reason is that diamond is the hardest substance till your tone. Wow, that is really interesting to know. Sir, uh, I really want to know that uh, how many structural isomers can you draw for uh, pentane? 
exactly if you look about the pentane mm -hmm. the structural isomers is there pentane is a member of uh, alkane series okay which having the general formula c5h12 mm -hmm. so it will form three kind of isomers okay yeah so and yes please we can also look these structures mm -hmm. and on the screen three isomer to be formed by the pentane that is 2 methyl butane 2 to dimethyl butane propane and n pentane isomers are those compounds which having the same general formula but having different structures as we can see that c5s12 having the same formula but structures are different and those compounds which having the same molecular formula and different structures are called isomers or correctly we can say that structural isomers as we can see pentane is going to form three isomers as yes. you have asked me yes it's clear now and what we are next going to learn in carbon and its compound please let us know yeah so next uh, we'll know about the versatile nature of the carbon mm -hmm. because carbon being a simplest kind of molecule it is a form kind of special bond that is called covalent bond okay the bond formed by the carbon generally involved in sharing of electrons mm -hmm. so the bond which formed by the sharing of electrons between two atoms that is called covalent bond okay clear the simplest molecule form in this manner is that of hydrogen mm -hmm. because hydrogen having atomic number 1 and valence electron is also one the formation of the of some molecules by covalent bond can be represented we can just uh, understand or look that how the formation of different kind of molecules to be there in this chain the simplest molecule is there hydrogen molecule so we can say that atomic number of hydrogen is 1 and number of valence electron is also 1 the atomic structure of hydrogen is there that having one valence electron only another hydrogen atom will come and it will share one one electron from the both these hydrogen atoms and formation of h2 molecule will take place that is the single bond formation will take place in case of hydrogen molecule in this series we can also explain the formation of o2 molecule that is oxygen molecule and we know that atomic number of oxygen is 8 and its electronic configuration is 26 it requires two electrons to acquire the nearest noble gas configuration that is neon ne therefore both the atoms share two electrons each and form a double bond we can say one atom of oxygen and another atom of oxygen as shown here having electronic configuration 26 as the number of valence electron in oxygen is 6 so it needs two electrons to complete its octet both atoms will come orbitals of the both atoms will mm -hmm. come and they will overlap with each other and formation of oxygen molecule will take place which having the double bond between oxygen and oxygen atom okay discussing further the mm -hmm. formation of simple methane molecule can also be explained by this manner as we can see that methane having formula ch4 atomic number of carbon is 6 that is 2 4 number of valence electron of carbon is 4 and atomic number of hydrogen is 1 and number of valence electron is also 1 so the formation of ch4 molecule will take place in this manner when one electron of hydrogen from each hydrogen atom will share one electron of carbon and formation of this molecule will take place we can understand that mm -hmm. the central atom is carbon four valence electron of carbon is shown by cross and one electron of each hydrogen atom is been shown by dot so the formation of ch4 molecules will be take place in this manner here we can say that this is the kind of formation of different molecules in which first example we can take that hydrogen molecule this picture showing that how the formation of h2 molecule take place we can understand here one electron from each hydrogen atom will share to the another hydrogen atom electrons by this manner h2 molecule will form the next ch4 we can see that four valence electron of carbon is sharing 
one electron of from the hydrogen atom in each case. So, formation of CH more molecule can also explained here. Similar manner chlorine hmm. and formation of water that is the most important compound in the life that is water. Right. In this case we can see that hmm. oxygen having 6 valence electron and hydrogen atom is coming, 2 hydrogen atoms will combine with 1 oxygen atom and formation of single bond between hydrogen and oxygen will lead to the formation of water molecule. Now moving further, we will discuss about hmm. allotropes of carbon. Allotropy, the phenomena in which the element exists in two or more different physical states with similar chemical properties is called allotropy. Carbon has three main allotropes that is diamond, graphite and fluorines. We will take first that is diamond. In this one atom of carbon is bonded to four other atoms of carbon forming three dimensional structure. It is the hardest substance hmm. and an insulator and whatever you have asked me the question why diamond does not right. conduct electricity. Mm -hmm. So, here we can uh, understand that uh, uh, diamond is an insulator because uh, generally this question generally asked in so many times because mm -hmm. due to absence of free electrons. So, there like is me, I no think moment. many viewers are also interested to know that point. So. Yeah, the diamond having the one kind of uh, hmm. structural uh, hardness, so movement of free ions is not possible in this case. Diamond uh, can be synthesized by subjecting pure carbon to very high pressure and temperature. It is used for drilling rocks and cutting purpose. It is also used for making jewellery. Like we can see that this is one kind of the diagram which going to explain that the carbon in the diamond are totally packed. It is going to be make four bond. So, there is no free electrons between carbon to carbon atoms which make its very hard carbon carbon bonds and its melting point become very high we can understand what is happening actually in case of diamond. In case of diamond, we can see that this cube like structure is represent, representing how the packing of carbon of carbon atoms taking place in diamond. So, one central carbon atom is attached with the four different mm -hmm. carbon atoms making four pure covalent bond and carbon carbon bonds become very strong that is why this becomes hardest substance. Yes, it is clear now sir. What are the two properties of carbon which lead to the use? Two properties of carbon is there that uh, mm -hmm. carbon having the one kind of tendency that is called catenation property Okay. because carbon, carbon having the unique tendency, mm -hmm. it can make a long chain. One carbon atom will join with another carbon atom, then carbon to carbon to carbon atom long chain can be formed. That is why carbon can make number of compounds and there are existence of number of compounds in this world. That is the one reason why carbon forms number of compounds. Okay. And uh, second reason we can say that mm -hmm. the carbon having valency 4 that is carbon is tetravalent. So, it can make maximum bonds that is 4 bonds and due to catenation property carbon forms number of compounds that is the answer whatever. Mm -hmm. okay. Please back to the topic sir. Yeah. Next allotrope of carbon that is graphite. Hmm. In graphite each carbon atom is bonded to three other carbon atoms in the plane giving a hexagonal arrangement. One of these bond has double bond character and the valency of carbon is satisfied. Graphite structure is formed by the hexagonal arrays being placed in layer one above the other. It is a good conductor of electricity due to presence of free electrons and it is used as a lubricant. Exactly what happened in case of graphite, we can see that graphite forms like carbon to carbon bond is also present in graphite. But thing is that in graphite, one carbon form three covalent bond mm -hmm. and we know that 
the valence electron of carbon are 4. One electrons remain that electrons from each carbon moves in the skeletal form whatever we are just looking here hexagonal kind of structure are there in which carbon rest one extra electrons move in this structure. And due to the movement of this single extra electron it moves throughout the molecule throughout the hexagonal structures some kind of we can say delocalization of electrons to be there and some what else this make this molecule kind of aromatic character develops in this molecule due to the presence of this, mm -hmm. this free electron and it shows movement of ions that is why we can say that graphite is a conductor of electricity. This is another model of the graphite in which we are trying to say that one carbon atom is bonded with the three carbon atoms and one extra electron is being remain that is responsible for the conduction of electrical current in the graphite structure. Okay. Uh, sir, here I really want to know that number of carbon compounds we see around us. There are a certain number of carbon compounds mm -hmm. we see around us, whatever the all the things or belongings of our daily life, the carbon plays a significant and major role each and every most of the things are just made up of carbon. This is like this one is there. This is also made up of carbon because this is one kind of plastic mm -hmm. and uh, carbon, hydrogen and some heteroatoms like that oxygen, nitrogen and uh, behalf of this carbon forms so many kind of compounds like acids also organic compounds are also there. Polymers, mm -hmm. today we can say that synthetic polymer are also there, which having the high strength mm -hmm. and tensile strength is there. Strong, uh, they form the strong kind of structure on behalf of that uh, we are replacing so many older kind of version of polymers mm -hmm. and, and advance uh, we are trying to uh, making some kind of uh, most conductive carbon based substances. So, they will conduct the electricity apart from the graphite, the different kind of conductors to be is being experimented or investigated. So, on behalf of that we can say that the future of carbon will be very high and very versatile. Wow, that is really interesting you know. Sir, we have a short of time, please, I request you to please uh, uh, whatever is important uh, let us know. Yeah, important thing is that and uh, we have discussed about allotrope of carbon and uh, two the allotropes has been discussed that is uh, diamond and graphite and carbon also have one more uh, uh, allotrope that is called buckminster fluorine. That is also similar in manner, it is also having carbon to carbon bonds and uh, carbon 60 present is in there. We will look about the structure of this graphite in the this structure on this slide we can say this is the one kind of uh, structure of graphite seen here. Hmm. So, this is also one kind of allotrope of carbon in which uh, 60 carbon atoms make one bulky football like structure in which graphite of form in uh, fluorine form of fluorine form is present. Bulky ball C60 carbon, C70 carbon, C80 carbons also being existed and manufactured in different manner and different forms are there of carbon. Yes, it is clear. So, there are so many things uh, like uh, we can say that versatile nature of carbon. Carbon being hang, being uh, have, having so many kind of properties hmm. like uh, versatile nature of carbon is uh, its catenation property and tetravalent nature. Yeah, as you mentioned earlier. Yeah. So, catenation properties carbon having unique uh, uh, this property because uh, in the existing element carbon having the most versatile element and this is the only element which having the tendency to make a carbon carbon longest chain. So, this property of carbon is called catenation and due to presence of this property carbon compound exist in so many forms in so many different forms in so many materials which is adjusted to the catenation property of carbon. 
right so in this live interactive session we learn lots about uh, compounds of carbon yani ca carbon and its compound we have a topic for science class 10 students sir dr rajesh kumar sharma pgt chemistry is with us sir thank you so much for this really interesting session thanks a lot sir okay, namaskar thank you very much Dear viewers, within some minutes we are with you in our next session और हम पढ़ेंगे कक्षा दस के बच्चों के लिए हिंदी और हमारा विषय रहेगा एक कहानी ये भी जिसे मन्नू भंडारी ने लिखा है तो आप हमारे अगले सत्र से भी ज़रूर जुड़िएगा जो कि ई विद्या चैनल नंबर दस पर ही प्रसारित किया जाएगा इस लाइव इंटरेक्टिव सत्र से मैं सृजन चाहूँगी अनुमति नमस्कार